Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Listen, I wanted to get up close and personal. I'm sitting at my desk trying to decide, can I bring myself to carry only one multi-tool a week or maybe a month? I usually switch them out daily and I'm trying to get away from that. Now, first of all, for these multi-tools, I like to waver on some things that I buy. I buy stuff from China and Taiwan and Germany, but when it comes to multi-tools, knives, I usually tend to get made in America, made in USA type items. They usually have a better warranty, usually better customer service, and they usually don't fail me when I'm 20 miles away from my house trying to loosen an Allen key to fix something. So with that being said, let's just talk about some of these items. Another category for me that is a must is that anything that I carry must have a pocket clip and having a sheath is optional. But at a minimum, I got to have a knife. Pliers are not a, ne a necessity necessarily. Let's just get started looking at these. So the first one that I have here is the Leatherman Mutt. This is a multi-tool, but additionally, it has armament type features. So this thing here, it has a carbon scraper, which is replaceable. It has a punch, which is replaceable. So you can use that on your AR-10, AR-15 style weapons. I'm not the biggest fan of this pocket clip. It is going for the deep pocket style carry, but it's just hard to get that initial carry. Uh, also, the pocket clip itself does cover this extra bit set that they give you. So they give you a 716 and they give you a T-15 extra bit set, which you access by clicking this little silver button here. You decompress that. And then once you have it, you can load it up into the bit driver, which is on the end of the multi-tool itself. They do give you several of their proprietary bits. So I have a Phillips head and a short flat head loaded here. They also give you some more um, Phillips heads and flat head on uh, with the driver itself. So that's kind of an unusual thing for Leatherman to give you so many bits. They usually don't do that. But, you know, I did buy additional bits because several of the multi tools that I carry uses the proprietary Leatherman bit type of setup. So I snagged a couple of these and I keep them, you know, and I use them when I change them out. This Leatherman Mutt was one hundred and fifty nine dollars. I think I actually went and bought this on base, the local base near me, and it was like one hundred and fifty four and, you know, the thing I like about the Leatherman Mutt, it does come with an additional additional wrench. Right. So you have a three eighths inch wrench that they give you. And that's normally kept in the back of the sheath that's included with the actual tool. So you can take it. You can slip that in the back of this sheath or you can keep it on the inside. The sheath itself can be used in a traditional Molly way by slipping it down through a bag. Or if you want to carry it like a belt, you can just kind of slip it through here. And then you kind of clip this part here through your belt. When I carry multi tools, I do keep this wrench in the sheath, which is kind of backwards because if I'm going to use it, I need it. And the sheath is normally not with me. So 159 bucks. These go up to 200 bucks, depending on if you want the blade to be black. If you want the EOD variant it has a hammer on here, it has a carabiner, it has a rip tool. The Leatherman Free P4 has been a multi tool, which has been carrying my heart lately. This is second on the list here. This thing, I think it comes in at $139. I'll link all this stuff up below. So if you're interested in picking up any of these items, a compact multi-tool, I got it in the stainless steel variant. It does have that deep pocket carry clip, which I quite enjoy. One thing I like about the P4 is that you can access every single tool, except obviously the pliers, while it's actually closed. So I think it has like 21 tools on this thing. You got a 420 steel um knife on this side you got another 420 this one is a serrated knife you have a freaking wood saw on this side it can probably take down a branch and eh, maybe about that thick so not the thickest branch in the world but if it's nice and green and lush you should be able to take that down no issues you have a small phillips head and also a small blade on here and just a lot of different tools that you can use with this thing you got a file you got a, a, a bigger flat head on here on the other side you got your phillips and you got your can openers and files and bottle openers one biggest thing here is i nev never thought i would like it so much until i went without it is scissors it has spring-loaded scissors in here so the actual pliers itself have a very satisfying just see if you can hear this 
very satisfying click when you actually engage it. And so, of course, it's it's Leatherman's traditional four in one uh, pliers. Same with the EOD. You know, one thing I will say about the mutt is that the pliers are just freaking monsters. You can tell just the size difference and the actual traditional part of the pliers is way bigger on the P on the uh, mutts. But, you know, you got the needle nose, you got the traditional, you have the wire cutters and crimpers and all the electrical crimpers and all that. One thing I kind of like and kind of dislike at the same time is when the actual pliers are engaged, you cannot pull out either of the knives. There's a safety inside that keeps you from pulling out the the knives that includes the ser the serrated or the flat edge drop point rather you know but you can pull out like the scissors and all that uh, that type of stuff the the safety does not stop that so this one here about 139 bucks feels good in the pocket you know one big drawback is that you cannot use unless i am grossly mistaken yes you cannot use um leatherman's bits with this thing so 139 bucks and you're using what it has on the tool. That's it. So, you know, if you want that additional to be able to use the bit driver, eh, you know, you might want to shy away from that. But you can go down to its little brother here. This is the Leatherman Curl. This has only been out for a couple months. I picked this thing up on a whim, mainly because of the price. I think I got it at seventy nine ninety nine. Uh, if you're not a big fan of the pricing of the Leatherman Free P4 or the Leatherman Mutts, you can come and pick up the Leatherman Curl. This thing's only been out for a couple months. I will say this. It feels, although it is cheaper, it feels way nicer in the hand. Sometimes using these tools, it it is a big deal. I will say when I'm actually using the pliers themselves, so when I have the tool fully engaged, the free P4 feels good to use the pliers. The actual curl feels good when it's closed. So pulling it out of a pocket, it feels nicer to be pulled out of a pocket. Downfall of the curl is that you only get the one 420 blade and on the other side, you actually get a metal file and a wood file or whatever the heck you wanna file. And so those are the only two blades that you get in not only that, those are the only two tools which are accessible while the tool is closed. So if you want to get to the rest of the tools, you do have to open it up. And once you open it up, you expose the remaining tools. I think this thing has about 16 tools on it. Don't quote me on that. But it has that deep pocket carry just like the, it's the exact same clip from the free P4. This has lots of tools on it, but it does have an advantage over its big brother, the free p4 is that it has have the bit driver they include the phillips head and a flat head but of course if you buy any of the additional bits that leatherman sells then you can stick these in here use those so you know and it includes a ruler on it so it's a four inch ruler on this side if you can see that and then the other side has centimeters and so you know bottle openers and bits and let me see doesn't it, it include scissors so it that's a big plus so these scissors, spring action scissors, just like the other side, flat heads, Phillips and all that. So the actual pliers have a more, they're longer than the P4. And you would think that the free, P, uh, the free P4 would have the longer pliers, but you know, the curls pliers are longer, the actual traditional pliers. So the one I'm tapping here, the actual traditional pliers on the inside they're a little bit deeper so it's a little bit nicer to use that um, on this tool the sheath and i didn't even mention this on the the p4 the sheath for the p4 is more premium looking it's not as premium looking as the mutt but it does have you know the molly or the belt type option whichever one you want to use whereas the curl has the very traditional belt loop or the belt system and you just kind of run your belt through here in the mornings when you're getting dressed just has a button closure and so this is very you know very traditional so i would definitely carry this in the pocket or carry this in some type of edc so next on the list is if you want something that's a little bit more minimum doesn't weigh as much as the first three that we talked about you have to look at the leatherman skeletal specifically the cx variant so there are different variants of the cx tool the CX variant has a seven in one system. So if you can see the CX on there, 
it has a seven in one system. So it has the most tools of the Skeletal brand. You know, it has a bottle opener technically and it has a carabiner. You only can access the knife from the outside while the tool is folded. And then that is it. If you want to access the remaining amount of tools, you have to actually open this thing up. And you once again have the four in one pliers. So that's four more tools there with the crimper and all that good stuff. And then one thing about the skeletal tools that if you like that minimalistic type stuff, it does include the bit driver. So you got a bit driver here and they include extra bits. So they give you two flatheads, two Phillips. If you need more than that, my recommendation is to buy once again, buy the Leatherman bits. Keep those. Now um, you have a very traditional set up here the deep pocket carry is not so much so it is a deep pocket type carry but it's not that easy to actually slip onto your pocket sometimes i do miss when i'm trying to slip this back into my pocket but other than that this thing is relatively light relatively small comes in multiple colors i picked up the black but if you wanted to pick up red or blue or whatever you know you can pick up different variants and different colors for the blades so let's just say that pliers don't matter for you you're trying to get the smallest lightest size that you can get then your go-to is going to be the leatherman free t4 now the leatherman free t4 is leatherman's version of the more traditional like bullet style multi-tool to kind of goes you know similar to what swiss army is doing and all that good stuff so it does have the 420 uh, blade here and to access the remaining items you kind of got to flick those up here you got a file you got a flathead screwdriver and then on the other side you do have the all the very coveted scissors which i'm a big fan of now having scissors with me you have an all on here you can make a punch you have a phillips head you have a can opener and a bottle opener. And this is the only one of all of them which includes tweezers. So you can pull your tweezers out if you need those. So downfall of this obviously does not have pliers, but if you don't need that and you want the most small carry, there you go, deep pocket carry on there. You can pick this thing up. I think it was 54 bucks. Pick this up and this oftentimes falls on sale for even cheaper than that. So if you're really wanting to know like, okay, well, just size wise so i can just tell you i don't have a scale out here with me i will say obviously the the highest in weight hands down is going to be the mutt the mutt weighs the most then was followed closely by actually the curl which you know doesn't have as many tools as the p4 but T, the p4 i think is is made out of different gauge of steel uh, the p4 is next the skeletal tool is next and then by far the lightest is the t4 now lengthwise they're all different lengths it depending on you know how important length is to you the mutt is about four and three fourths inches on there the p4 is about four inches on the dot the curl is about three and seven eighths of an inch the skeletal tool, the minimalistic monster here is about three and three fourths of an inch. And then we have the T4, which is should be the smallest. Yep, we got about three and a little bit less than three and a half. So for lengthwise, that's going to be your go to. Listen, if you're oftentimes need to do modifications with your weapon, hands down, going with the mud is what's going to make sense for you. You know, if you want the most flexibility, I know this is going to be controversial because the P4 has more tools on it. But if you want the most versatility, I would recommend going with the curl because the curl itself has the ability to use Leatherman's bit driver. You can keep those bits with you and, and pick some of those up. But if you know you're gonna be more in a survival type of situation, I will prefer to have the P4 because it does have that wood saw on it. So if you were having to take down some small limbs, I will prefer to have that tool. If you want ease of access, the P4 has that as well because you can access every single one of its tools while it's closed. If you're the minimalistic type of person, but you require pliers, then you have to go with the skeletal tool. The skeletal tool is gonna get that seven in one for you, it has the bit driver, and you can actually clip this to your keys or to a belt. You don't have to always wear this in your pocket. If you don't care about pliers, you don't care about any of that stuff, you don't care about having to you know, be able to drive a bit tool or any of that stuff, then it's easily gonna be the T4. And this is gonna be something that's gonna help you out. You know, So for me, 
for the next few weeks i'm probably going to carry the curl around just to see how i feel and i won't switch every day like i normally do but listen if you're getting value out of this make sure you hit that like button below and if you're not subscribed man we would love to have you join the battalion just come on Come on, push that button. We would love to have you a part of the battalion. Hey, and let me know, man, what am I missing? What's another made in America multi-tool that you're proud to carry? Maybe it's SOG, maybe it's Gerber, maybe it's the ASP. You know, they all make multi-tools which are made in America. Not every single one of their multi-tools is made in America. So let me know, like which ones down below do you like to carry? In the meantime, we'll speak soon.